Today's video will be made with my Lumix camera and a wireless mic. You have the other half attached to me. And I got this uh, neat little cold shoe adapter because this mount is so tight on my hot shoe that I don't want to damage it. So my project today uh, will be working on this window because I cannot open it. What I have here is some cleaner, some rags, some tools just in case I need them, a toothbrush, a church key, aka paint can opener, and another scrub brush, and a bucket. And what I have here is a window that will not open. What is the reason for that? It's because there is a lot of dust and dirt in this area. And it's just every time somebody drives around this road over here, it just kicks up a lot of dust. So unfortunately, it has sealed my window shut. I'm going to need a ladder. <laughs> okay. So I'll go get a ladder. In the meantime, though, this will just pull right off. Okay, and um, it's not too bad. Has some. Let me get on the other side. So dirt and debris will get behind this. This is called glazing bead. A lot of people will call it gasket. But if you order it, it's called glazing bead. It's not too terribly bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up anyhow. I'll go ahead and soak it in some soapy water while I work on the window itself. right in this track. Oh, I want to point out one more thing. Over here, you can see where the glazing beads separating. That has to be done too. I don't have time to do it today, but I will get to it. This happens because of the sun beating down on the RV. Doesn't necessarily mean you need new glazing bead, which I thought at one point. It just means you do have to pop it out, clean it, lubricate it, and put it back in. So if you look in this track, Hopefully the camera can see it. A lot of dirt builds up in it. And this is where my window is sealed behind the felt. I do have some window spray that you use on these to keep them lubricated, but it doesn't work when the windows get to this point. You can take a toothbrush, get in here and just scrub it out. Yeah, there's a lot of dust in there. I can't really, well, I guess I could get my cell phone. So I'm just gonna keep scrubbing it out until I get all that dust out of there. Just keep working at it. Yeah, this little felt pad tends to hold a lot of dust and dirt. I also have this knife I'm going to dig out in the track with. Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there. Yep, there's stuff down there that's sealing down my window. That's why it won't open. Okay, I'm gonna keep digging at this. 
I just scraped it out with a knife and I went and got my shop vac. I'm going to blow it out. This is a micro tool kit. Comes with this, this, and these pieces. I have a few other pieces too, but it's really good for little tiny areas. And it's for shop vacs. These are the weeples here and here. And uh, if they, if this track gets clogged, they will not drain out properly. So make sure you keep those clean too. I usually take like long pipe cleaners and run them through every so often to clean them out. Because like I said, if you don't keep them clean, then it won't drain properly and it will leak on the inside of your RV. That's not a good thing. And uh, get my toothbrush. Dip it in my cleaning solution that I have over here and just start scrubbing. It's doing the trick. So I'll do that until it gets nice and clean. And then we'll see if this window will open and I'll finish cleaning the track. I'm also going to take the knife and run it along the upper track. Yeah, that's kind of cruddy too. Okay. Yeah, there's no way my window's gonna open unless that's done also. So I'll dig that out as well. Wet my toothbrush down again in the cleaning solution and do the same with the top track. Water hose time. You can see all the stuff coming down on the side of the RV. Yeah, there's some dirt coming out of there. Okay, let's see if that's done any good. Side and uh, see if the window will open. And oh, I gotta pull the screen out. So I actually took the screen out trying to open the window at one point. Just pop it back in. When I'm done, ouch, it's hot. <laughs> sun, 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 sun. Okay, let's see if it'll open. Oh, yay, success, success. Okay, awesome. Alrighty then, the window opened, yay. So I'm gonna work on this some more, clean it up more clean up my gasket, and then I'll show you when I pop the gasket back in. I'm also going to get the spray and clean up the window with it too, or lubricate the window with it rather. This is the product that you use on the window. So I cleaned the track really well, and then I sprayed. It's kind of like the WD-40 type spray, but it's not WD-40, do not confuse it with such and uh, just sprayed the tracks, cleaned them real well. So let's see how this works. Yeah. There we go. I had way too many interruptions yesterday, so my uh, glazing bead got cold and then I couldn't get it back on. It's easier to get on if you leave it sit out in the sun to warm up. And it's warmer today, so I did that. Now I'm going to pop it back on. So you can see there's a little, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little channel here. And then under there, there's a channel. So that channel, how did we do that? Yeah, that channel goes over here, and then this one clicks. There's a ledge under here, so it clicks under there. Once you get it going, it gets easier. It's just getting it started. That can be kind of a challenge. And this uh, glazing bead comes in different sizes, so you want to make sure you get the right size if you do order it.
There we go. We're getting it now. My frame's bent a little bit there. Okay, I'll get something to pry that out, snap that on with. So I'm going to continue and get this on, and then I'll come back and fix that. There you go. I've got the glazing bead on. There's a couple sections I still need to work on just to get it popped in better. But there's the general idea of how to do this. I want to go ahead and close out this video, take a break. It's warming up out here and I have long sleeves on. So I'll come back out uh, when it cools down and finish this. That's basically it. Thank you for watching and live the life you love. Bye.